dear friends let's see this particular problem the atomic number of three elements a b and c are 12 18 and 20 respectively state giving reason which two elements will show similar properties okay so this particular question belongs to chapter 5 that is your periodic classification of elements and if you know what is the core idea behind the periodic classification the core idea behind the periodic classification is to put the elements that have similar properties in a same group okay now uh, why it is beneficial for us suppose suppose if if you are putting this fluorine this chlorine bromine and iodine in a same group that is your group number 17 in modern periodic table group number 17 okay so and if 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 we know the properties of fluorine we can fairly guess the properties of chlorine or bromine or iodine that is the beauty of the periodic table definitely in that case your effort will be minimized otherwise you will have to study the properties of fluorine as well as chlorine as well as bromine and as well as iodine okay so that means if suppose if you know the groups of these elements okay the elements which will come from the same group they will show similar properties so our next target is to what to, to find the group of these elements okay so how to find the group of any element okay so for that you have to write the electronic configuration the first thing is what you have to write the electronic configuration okay once you are done with this electronic configuration find the number of electron in its outermost shell that is valence shell that is known as what your valence electron so then the next target is to find the valence electron and once you got this valence electron okay once you got this valence electron what you have to do if suppose your number of valence electron your number of valence electron that is ve is either one or two your group number will be same that is for one valence electron the group number is one for two valence electron the group number is two but if your number of valence electron is greater than two in that case your group will be what your group number will be 10 plus number of number of valence electron and we will see the logic of this 10 also why we are putting this 10 here okay so I hope I hope you got this particular concept that how to get the group of any element we have to write first electronic configuration done then we have to find the valence electron that is electron in its outermost shell then if it is one or two your group will be one or two respectively and if your valence electron is greater than two in that case your group number will be what 10 plus number of valence electron let's see few examples suppose if you are talking about sodium you see sodium is what atomic number 11 the configuration you all know that 2 8 and 1 what is the valence electron it is 1 so group will be what group will be 1 okay you see magnesium magnesium is what again 12 atomic number 2 in second shell it is 8 electron 2 plus 8 10 and the third shell it is what 2 again in outermost shell that is your third shell number of electron is what 2 so its group will be what 2 but in case of aluminium your number of valence electron is greater than 2 your number of valence electron is greater than 2 and in that case if you want to find the group number you have to add this number of valence electron plus 10 so in that case your group will be what 10 plus 3 that is what your 30 now the question is why we are adding this 10 it's very simple you just see the periodic table here you, you can see this is what your group one in this case it is what your group two and this was your sodium and this was your magnesium you, you can see the atomic number also it is what 11 and it is what 12 okay now you see the atomic number of aluminium and is what 13 and the valence electron is 3 but in between magnesium and aluminium in between magnesium and aluminium you can see one 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 10 groups are coming. That's why we are adding. That's why we are adding 10 here. Okay. So, hope it is clear to you. So, in this case, we will add 10 plus 3. That is 13. Silicon will be what? Again, it is valence electron is greater than 2. So, it is what? The group number is what? 10 plus 4. That is 14. Again, in the same case, 10 plus 5 is what? 15. 10 plus 6 is what? 16. And 10 plus 7 is what? Your 17 group. And 10 plus 8 is what? Your 18 group. Okay. 18 group. Now, why I have written here helium? Now, it is very important because if you stick to this point, you will say that helium will be in group 2 because the number of valence electron is what? 2. So, you can take it as an exception because you cannot put helium in what? Second group. You know, second group contains these elements. These, these metals are very reactive. Okay. And helium is what? It's a noble gas. So, you cannot put helium here. That's why you are putting helium here. So, in that case, you have to remember this, that this particular, th these things, these concepts will be applicable except one element and that element is what? Your helium. So, in, in, in case of helium, you have to remember that its group is what? Group is what? 18. Okay. These groups are what? In uh, modern periodic table. Suppose, if, 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 if you want to find the group in Mendeleev periodic table, then what we have to do? Very simple. You just remember the number of valence electron. Okay. Write it in, you know, uh, th this is what your number of valence electron. That is what your one. And it's ro write it in Roman numerals and put A here. Okay. So, it is what your 1A. 1A. Okay. Then its magnesium will be what your 2, 2, A. Okay. Then it is what your aluminium. Valence electron is 3. So, it will be what your 3, A. So, then it is what your silicon. The valence electron is 4. So, it will be what your 4, A. Okay. Then your phosphorus is 5. So, it will be what your 5, A. Okay. Then it is what your sulfur is 6. So, it will be what your 6, A. That is in Mendeleev's periodic table. You have to remember this point. And this is what your in, in chlorine, your valence electron is 7. So, in Roman numeral 7 is 7 like this. And it is what is 7th A. And what about this noble gases? So, in Mendeley periodic table, the group of noble gases, what, what? It was 0. That you have to remember. So, in case of helium, again, the group will what? 0. Now, hope you understand this concept. Now, the question is very simple. You see, this is the question. The atomic number of three elements A, B and C are 12, 18 and 20 respectively. So, first find... In which group these three elements, I mean, uh, you know, these three elements belongs to which group, you know. So, see, this is what your A, A is what? Your 12. What is the electronic configuration? 2, 8. And what is that? 2. So, its group number will be what? Its group number will be what? Group number will be what? 2. Then again, B, B is what? Your atomic number is what? 18. So, its electronic configuration will be 2, 8 and 8. And it's because the number of valence electron is greater than 2. So, its group number will be what? 8 plus 10. That is what your 18. So, this B is noble gas. You can see that. Okay. And this is what your C. C is what your 20 atomic number. So, it will be what? Electronic configuration will be what? 2, 8, 8 and 2. And number of valence electron is again 2. So, the group number will be what? 2. That means your A and C belongs to the same group. And if they belongs to the same group, they will have what? similar properties. I hope you understand this concept. Thank you.